Welcome everyone to a piece of college football history as we crown this season's national champion. There's been so much that's gone into getting here, twists and turns, and now it builds to this, the battle for supremacy. And it almost feels like we were destined to get to this point. The top two seeds of the college football playoff have survived. They've been on a collision course all season long. They've come through the challenges and the distractions, and now they'll fight for that beautiful trophy. As we'll see the number two seed in this playoff, the Oregon Ducks, taking on a team from the ACC, the East Carolina Pirates. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here as always by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, everything has been building to this. It's time for the national championship. Let's crown a champion. The kickoff team is out there, and you can feel the energy. One game to determine the national championship. And he takes this from inside five. And a returner brought down by that coverage team. So Oregon's offense in less than ideal position off that poor return. Well, here we go. The energy in this building is absolutely amazing, Kirk. We are just 60 minutes away from crowning a new national champion in college football. And think about it as a player, this is really what you dream about. This is what you work towards, having an opportunity to get to the national championship. Both these teams have worked hard. Now they're here. Let's see how it plays out. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Here's the toss play. Runner heads outside. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Because this is what I love to see from a defense is the linebackers are scraping, doing their job, but you need help from the secondary. And when you have aggressive tacklers on the back end, you got a great defense. This time, the secondary makes the difference. Scanning the field, it's Finley. Throws it to the right. Finds a man downfield. That's a big game to the right. And they'll bring him down, but this offense creates a huge chunk play. We're not just looking to crank up the tempo a bit. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes him pay for it. They'll actually lose yardage after the catch. The defense all over him that time. Well, the defense does such a good job of taking any threat downfield away. All he could do is throw it to his back, and a loss of yards, now you're behind the sticks. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And he will be stuffed for no game. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Caught over the middle, it's Wade. Defense will wrap him up after a seven-yard gain. It'll bring up fourth down. The Ducks will have to kick it away. Hunter comes out for the first time today, looking to pin him back. And no chance for a return as the punch sails out of bounds. So the East Carolina Pirates offense out there for their first possession. Guys up front lined up. It's first down. Single back takes the handoff. They bring him down to the 32 yard line. Second down after that run on the previous play. Takes the handoff again. Red gain is good enough for a first down. Ball slotted at the 42. Well, just a great play by the running back here. Just finding his lanes and exploding through the gap when it opened up. First and 10 now for the offense. Takes the snap and takes off on the run. And the Salk were able to bring him down quickly. Here's the second down play. Go, 
Now they'll switch it up, looking to throw the ball here. It's a short completion of the big tight end. Tackled, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 45. Chris, we get so caught up in these wide receivers and their playmaking ability and getting them the ball in space. And I think the defense has to pay attention to them. Often too much attention opens up an underneath drag route like this, and quarterback makes a good read. Nice first down. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Makes a quick catch. Finds room at the 30. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. You know, each receiver brings something a little bit different to the table, Chris. To me, the outside receivers usually are a little bit longer, taller guys. You get those slot receivers in the inside. Not only can they make the catch, but they have quickness to make plays after the catch. Great example of that right here. The Pirates getting set on first and ten. Here comes the handoff. And he's able to find some running room. Nice pickup. The Pirates looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. It's a quick grab. There's a loss after the completion. That's a good play by the defense. Offense gets set up here. It's third down. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. I see what the quarterback's trying to do here. He's holding on to that football to the last possible second to give that play a chance. But he held it just a little bit too long. And the defense is able to hit him to force that incompletion. Now, oh, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. They'll return it from inside the five. The returner is brought down. Gets to start on the next drive. And the Ducks' powerful offense is back on the field. The last possession, they were forced to kick it away, and they finally get things going this time. Here's the first play of the drive now. They're backed up at their own 14. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. It's a nice game. They'll move the football up to the 27. Boy, good job up front by this offensive line. And a nice job by the back of finding that hole to pick up the first down. And honestly, Chris, this is what I think about when I think of Oregon. I know the uniforms and the flash and the dash and all the different things that people... Tremendous toughness here. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. This is a determined running back just refusing to be brought down that time with the defense. You know, the coach has told us that this guy's one of the hardest workers on the entire team. And you can see all that offseason work that he put in has paid off that time, shaking free from those defenders and getting more positive yards. Tackled, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 45. Ball handed off. And the defense able to bring him down to wrap up the first quarter of play. Kirk, it's East Carolina with the lead here. We've reached the end of one in this battle for the national championship. Before moving on, let's check out the stats so far. All right, let's get back to the action. Getting closer to finding out who will be celebrating here tonight. Here we go, first play of the quarter. Offense setting up for a second down play. And now the handoff. 
That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Critical third down play for this offense right here. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. Defense stops him right at the line there. The offense has had really good rhythm in this drive, running the ball, throwing the football. It seems like every play has been positive yards until that stop right there by the defense. They need a yard here on fourth down to keep this drive alive. And the back now goes in motion. And he's throwing for it on fourth down. And he finds his target. He has the first. And moves the ball to the 35. Another first down. Well, Chris, here's an example of what we always talk about. On fourth down, the receiver's got to run a route beyond the sticks. Great awareness to know exactly where he is. Quarterback makes the throw. Receiver gets hit, but he's beyond the sticks for the first down. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. Stock short of the marker after just a short game. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Grab down the middle. It's Wade. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon. Who says he need explosive plays, Kirk? That was a long, grinding scoring run. And think about this. This is a national championship. And you're able to execute like that against this quality of a defense. And that is a great job by the coordinator and the quarterback being in sync and putting together a heck of a drive. So they'll try to add to the lead now to the PAT. Kick goes through, so it's 7-3. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Return begins inside the 10. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. East Carolina's offense has back out on the field now. They settled for a field goal last time. Let's see what they can come up with on this possession. And the single back takes the handoff. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Second down after that run on the previous play. And here's the handoff. Off the defender. They bring him down, but a solid run there by the sophomore. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder, knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. Chris, it's so easy to get excited about the receivers on the outside and their ability to make big plays. But the slot receivers are just as exciting, especially with their finesse, quickness, and ability to make guys miss in the middle of that field. Second down, we're going to throw it. Receiver makes the catch. And he goes down, but the important thing is enough to move the sticks and a fresh set of downs. The Pirates looking to keep this drive rolling. Off the play fake on first down. And here comes a deep shot. Pass ball is incomplete on the deep shot, but there is a penalty marker down. First Let's check it out. Ouch, that is an obvious call. You cannot make contact with the quarterback after the throw. The Pirates will line up on first and ten. He'll hand it off. Finding some room at the 25. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Pirates. Game-breaking speed for the running back to reach the end zone. That is just priceless for an offense. Chris, that back was able to find that crease in the defense. Let's give credit to the big fellas up front for creating that crease. They all played a key role in that score.
So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The PAT puts them up three. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And here's the return from inside the five. Coverage team brings down the returner. And that powerful Oregon offense retakes the field. On that last touchdown drive, they just pounded away with the ground game. Let's see if that formula works again. He shreds the tackle. He's tackled just short of the 20-yard line. Chris, it's pretty surreal to get to the national championship in this day and age of college football. Everybody wants to spread you out and throw the football. This offense has been pounding the rock all year long. And here, how about the first half? This back is having a big day. To throw, it's Finley. He pulls in the catch. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. Made the catch, but he was surrounded for not much room to run. They did a really good job that time of leveraging him out in space. I, I thought he might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere for him to go to pick up any more positive yards. And the play is good enough for a first down. They'll move the ball to 44. They'll go hurry up here. Looking to throw it on first down. Fired into a tight window and picked off. And that's a solid return after the interception. Boy, great hands by the defender to take that ball away and pretty much steal it from the intended receiver. I don't know if I'd be targeting that defender very many more times. So the East Carolina offense back on the field now. They punch it in the last possession. Can they do it again? Or will this defense make some adjustments to get a stop? Gives it to the back. And he heads out of bounds after gaining a few yards. Boy, positive yards there on first and 10. Good job up front by that offensive line. Good hard running by this running back. And now you got a lot of options. That playbook can really open up on second inches. The offense will take their first time out of the half to talk strategy here. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Here's the snap. Looking to throw. The pocket breaking down. And he can't escape. It's a sack for the defense. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back, they're going to throw for the first down. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Pirates. Well, that's a well-oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. When they're rolling like this, it results in quick and positive results. And they'll set up now for the extra point drop. The extra point makes it a 10-point game. So the offense gets momentum scoring before halftime. Now the kickoff to see if the defense can get a stop and preserve that momentum. 
Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20, trying to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Oregon offense is back out on the field. Backed up this close to their end zone in the final minute. Let's see if they just decide to take care of the football and look toward the second half. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Receiver makes the grab. And a timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. That completion makes it second and medium. Dropping back, it's Finley. Pass is caught. A quick juke. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. That's another positive game here for this offense, and this defensive coordinator is going to have to make some kind of adjustments to get this quarterback out of his rhythm. It's the national championship, and you've got to take and the pass is intercepted, a takeaway for the defense. And he's wrapped up after a solid return. Chris, that is back-to-back -back drives right now for this quarterback in this offense. Nothing seems to be going right. The defense is doing a good job of confusing the quarterback, who's obviously throwing the ball into coverage. They've got to make some adjustments with their attack because right now it's not working. The tackle is made, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what that's about. Hold it, It stings for the offense. Penalty will cost him 10 yards. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? And they'll try to pick it up on the ground. Tackle finally made. That's a very solid gain, but not close to first down yardage. Important second down play coming up. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. It's not a huge game here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you start to see that affect the defense. They're trying to run it with the option. The defense all over. They stop him right at the line. So on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit trying to add three points here before halftime. After making his first attempt, this one is from 43 yards out. Right down the middle. And that field goal, the final play of this opening half. do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Chris, thanks. What else might we expect in a game of this magnitude? Everything on the line, the eyes of the sports world on this battle with the coveted gold trophy at stake. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, let's send it back to Chris and Kirk. Fellas, hard to believe we're only one half away from crowning a national champion. The Ducks will kick it deep to begin the second half. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Football is coughed up by the returner inside their own 20. Another example of taking care of the football and how big the deal this is. Usually it's running backs in practice that are working overtime on ball security. But after this, next week, this returner might be in those drills too. Can't be trusted to return it when you can't hold on to the football. And the defense smothers him for no gain. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fits. they holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. The Ducks come up to the line to crank the tempo up here. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. He's got it near the end zone. 
They stop him just short of the end zone. The offense set up with a first and goal now. Boy, the defense missed an opportunity to here, put a lot of pressure on this offense. They allow them to convert. They could have got them the fourth down with the lead that they have. Boy, this could have been a knockout punch. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Ducks. We had a short field. The offense did exactly what they're supposed to do. That would have been a big ask for the defense there, Kirk. Absolutely. But when you're given that kind of field position, anything less than a touchdown would be a disappointment. They did exactly what they needed to do by capitalizing on that short field. The kickoff team on the field now is a set to send this one away. They're returning from inside the 10-yard line. Stop at the 22. That's a pretty solid coverage there. East Carolina's offense has back out on the field now. They're trying to build this lead here. Had to settle for three last time out. Offense out for the first play of the drive, beginning at the 22. And there's the handoff. They'll bring him down, but the spin cycle put on that defender. My goodness. Hey, whether it's been on the inside or bouncing things to the outside, this guy has shown you everything that he has to offer and a big part of the reason why they're enjoying this nice lead. Game moves the ball to the 40. It'll be first down. From the shotgun, drops back looking for an open man. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. They bring him down after a short gain there. This is an example of a quarterback and his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. They'll run it to the left. And tackled after a small pickup there. That run sets up a critical third down play. Can he get there on the ground? That moves the football inside the 40, and it's another first down. Boy, another nice game by this back. He has had a beautiful day today running the football, just kind of in that zone, and a big reason why they have a nice lead today. The Pirates are looking to keep this drive going. Here comes a first down pass attempt. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. This offense really threatening now. The tight end drag route is the perfect option for offense. Looking to scheme that position open for some yardage. Perfect execution here for a first down. The Pirates have first and 10 here. Makes a quick grab. Fighting off the defender. They get him, but what a spin move. That's one for the highlight reel. Well, this is why they want to get his hands on the football as often as possible. We always know about his ability to make plays downfield, but here they just get it to him quick on a wide receiver screen. He shakes the tackle and picks up nice yards. And they hand it off to the back. Another positive game by this back. I tell you, between the offensive line sustaining blocks and this back's vision and ability to explode into that second level of this defense, this guy is having a monster day in the biggest stage of all in the national championship. That's a design quarterback keeper. Touchdown, East Carolina. This offense really clicking. How important was that touchdown, Kirk? It's now a two-possession game here in the second half. It's a great job of this offense with their execution and having situational awareness here in the second half. They now have, as you said, Chris, this two-possession lead. they got a great chance to finish it off and get a win.
Okay, now they'll right. empty the backfield on this two-point conversion. And it looks like the quarterback's going to run it. And he'll make it into the end zone to increase the lead even more. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And he'll bring it out from inside the town. The turner brought down. Sets up the next drive. And the powerful Ducks offense retakes the field. They scored a touchdown on their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. He's escaping the pocket now. On the move, but can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Now, the offense trying to go play action there, but how about the big man in the middle? This defensive tackle showing you he's athletic as well. Gets to the quarterback, comes up with a big sack. the sack on first down it's second down clear movement before the snap and it'll be a false start false start, false start. Offense. False start. False start. pretty easy call for the head coach he will accept that penalty of course second down play coming up for this offense looking to pass it's Finley Trying to create outside the pocket now. Avoiding the sack, but the scramble results in just a very short game. Urgency now for the offense that hate to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. On third down, he drops to throw. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. The Ducks will have to punt this one away. Looking to kick it away for the second time. Ball fielded at the 45. Returner tackle right there. That's when we'll start the drive. So the East Carolina offense back on the field now. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. They'll hand it off. Pickup is five yards, so it's second down and five. But this defense is going to have to mix up some looks because this back has had a monster day in the national championship. Running inside, running outside. The defense has got to do a good job of locking in on him to negate his big playability. A change of direction. The defense able to bring him down to wrap up the third quarter of play. Kirk, it's East Carolina with the lead here. We've reached the end of the third quarter in this national championship battle that has lived up to the hype. For the final period, let's check out the game stats. And here we go. It all comes down to this. Everything to play for. One quarter to decide who will win the national championship. Back at it to start the quarter. Offense getting set to run a first down play. And they'll use the ground game here. He's wrapped up nicely there by the freshman. Now I like the run play here. And offensively, at this point in the game, you want to remain in that attack mode first by also staying in bounds and working that clock. Second down after that run on the previous play. Right, right. Running back with the football. Oh, what a move. Goes right through the tackle. He's got room to run now. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call, and just keep working that clock. The Pirates pick up first down yardage to keep the drive going. He hands it to the back. Second down after that run on the previous play. Keep blue. Keep blue. The back's got it. Oh. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. A 
offense thinking touchdown, not field goal, facing a third and long from the 20 yard line. Receivers now getting some new assignments before the snap. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. The offense eager to keep this drive going, but facing a third and long from the 20 now. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. He makes the grab. And he's brought down, but not before he gets first down yardage. Oh, that really hurts for this defense. They get these guys to third down, a chance to maybe get them off the field, and they give up a first down late in the game. The clock will continue to roll. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. And the quarterback keeps it here. Not much on that play, brought down short. Not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. They'll give them credit, they didn't lose anything, so it wasn't a negative play, but this kind of play's gotta be able to hit big and get down the sidelines for big yards. So here we go, third down. Defense needs to stop here, try to force a field goal attempt. And of course, they'll work the clock here, keep it on the ground. They stop him for a two-yard gain, which will bring up fourth down. The decision is not to go for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. And a chance here to build the lead. They get a three-score game in the final four. Max that one right down the middle. And they add to their lead. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. After adding three more points to the lead, they're set to kick it off. Return begins inside the 10. They'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Oregon offense comes back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Looking to pass. It's Finley. And he pulls in the catch. And they'll move the six on that one. It's a first down at the 42. The Ducks will hustle to the line to run the hurry up offense. Chris, here we are in the fourth quarter. These guys are trailing. Had been a great day. But with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. He's moving out of the pocket now. He's going to lose yards there. The defense closed in and forces him out of bounds. And Sack sets up second down. And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. Receiver makes the catch. Big game moves the ball across midfield to the 45. The Ducks begin a new series here, first and ten. Well, he continues to have time to throw the football, and he makes his defense pay for it. Now, they realize coming into this game, they had to take away his ability to throw the football downfield. But it's the receivers and their place after the catch that's really given them a hard time. Now, it's second down here. And he's back to throw again after that incompletion on first down. And he's got it. He stopped, but he gets a first down. No huddle now for the offense. That's another accurate throw by this quarterback. And Chris, when we did our prep to get ready for the national championship, we all knew that this quarterback potentially could have a big day. But I didn't expect him to get into this kind of zone. This guy cannot miss just having one of those dream performances. Looking to throw yet again. He's running out of time here. Got him for a sack. A big play made them one of the senior leaders of this defense. They'll hurry to the line here with the clock running. And he'll drop back here on third down. Catch is made along the sideline, and he's four set of bounds. He'll go down, but he does have first down yardage. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first of the half. 
And the Ducks are looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. And he'll loft it to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Oregon. Man, I love this. Chris, I don't think they're going to have a chance to come all the way back. But here we are, under two minutes to go. And they continue to show some fight. And then, you know what? Who knows? Maybe you cover an onside kick and you get right back in it. And the replay booth has signaled they want to stop and have another look at this one. And that review confirms the ruling on the field was correct, so the play will stand. And now they'll set up for the point after. PAT up and good to get a little bit closer. I believe they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. And the hand seam able to make the crucial recovery. East Carolina's offense has back out on the field now. So this game is not over yet. The score just got a little bit tighter. How will they play it? How aggressive in the play call? And he's brought down after a short gain does not make the first down yardage. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Second down after that run on the previous play. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. They'll just try to run some clock here, keeping it on the ground. Game moves it to the 24. That's a fresh set of downs. Chris, just so impressive. I, and, you know, as much focus as there is on quarterbacks and wide receivers in the passing game, at the end of the day, to win a national championship, there's going to come a critical third down where you've got to rely on your offensive line. The opponent knows you're going to run. You still do it. They convert, and I think that may be it. And that'll do it. We have a national champion. Well, it wasn't a flawless performance, Kirk. They look pretty good out there today in a very satisfying W. I think this group has a chance to do some really special things this year. They clearly have talent to be able to work with. I've been impressed with how this head coach managed the game and led his team to a victory. Well, that's it. Dramatic punctuation to another outstanding season of college football. For Kirk Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been a presentation of EA Sports College Football. They are official. your kings of college football and national champions, the East Carolina Pirates. Thank <laughs> you.